Hey folks, welcome to another episode of Swill and Grog's A Wonderful World of Beer. As you can see, I'm going to be a revisiting Hammer and Tongs Draft, which is 4% alcohol by volume. And uh, now it's a product of Australia produced for Australian beer connoisseurs. That's the company. <laughs> but it's probably just Coles, uh, I would dare say. Anyway, uh, this was sent to me uh, some time ago by my uh, good mate and fellow Aussie beer reviewer, Jez. Um, yeah, he obviously wanted me to uh, check this out in the can. Uh, it was actually back in 2011 that I uh, first uh, reviewed uh, Hammer and Tongs. Uh, and uh, that was in a brown bottle that I think was either 355 or 330 mils. But uh, interestingly, that was uh, brewed uh, in Vietnam by uh, SAB Miller. Anyway, it is uh, definitely, um, you know, a budget beer here in Australia. Um, you can get uh, 30 cans for uh, $30, which is, um, you know, a bargain by, you know, Australian standards. But I know that, yeah, in the rest of the world, that's not so good. But uh, anyhow, let's get stuck into it. It's enough babbling for me. So uh, I'll pour it into this uh, mug and we'll uh, check it out. See what it's like in uh, 2015 when it's uh, brewed domestically. Okay. All right. So, um, as far as the appearance goes, it's, um, yeah, a fairly effervescent, uh, clear, golden color. Uh, we've got, uh, just a little, a little under, uh, three, uh, fingers of, uh, you know, frothy, bright white head. Uh, let me just, uh, top this up, get the remainder of the can out. All right, but uh, look, it certainly looks like a uh, good beer to, uh, you know, guzzle down uh, even on a day like today. Well, we're, uh, <laughs> it's actually evening now. It's taken me this long to, uh, yeah, get around to doing a review. But uh, anyway, it is going to be my uh, first beer of the day. So, um, yeah, it's um, probably going to get a more favorable review than it uh, it probably would have if it... Uh, if it was not my first beer of the day. Anyway, um, let's, uh, let's uh, check out the uh, aroma. We've talked about the, uh, the appearance. All right, so uh, yeah, I'm picking up, uh, you know, some yeast there. Yeah, there's uh, a faint smell of grains too. Yeah, but uh, all in all, you know, it's, uh, yeah, nothing, uh, you know, that really does kind of, uh, you know, jump out at you. It's, um, yeah, just a fairly, uh, you know, non-offensive uh, run-of-the-mill run uh, beer aroma. All right, so uh, time for the taste test. Cheers to you all, and uh, a special cheers to Jez, of course. Thanks, mate. All right, well, yeah, up front, you know, uh, you're getting a subtle malt taste. Um, again, you know, very uh, non-offensive, like the uh, aroma. Uh, the bitterness, well, there's nothing to really speak of. I did read somewhere that um, they use Pride of Ringwood hops in this, but... I'm definitely not picking uh, up any Pride of Ringwood taste. Uh, yeah, let me have another gulp. Hmm. All right, well, there's nothing about it that really stands out, but yeah, there's nothing really offensive about it uh, either you know, flavor-wise. Um, it's definitely, um, you know, very thin-bodied, um, a little bit uh, on the watery side, but for something that's 4% uh, ABV, it um, tastes okay. Yeah. All right, so uh, we've already covered off the price point. We know that it's, um, you know, a bargain uh, beer here in Australia. Um, well, a bargain budget beer, um, I should say. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, it's uh, hard to beat um, that price here in Australia. You know, 30, uh, yeah, 30 cans for uh, 30 bucks. Yeah. All right, so, um, yeah, not a lot more I can really say about this. Um, I'm finding it uh, very hard to remember, um, you know, what I thought of it, uh, you know, in 2011, actually. Yeah, I think I found it, you know, pretty ordinary, but, yeah, it's, but, you know, non-offensive uh it's not horrible you know you're gonna you know you're gonna be uh you really can't complain i, I suppose you could say uh when you know you're uh, getting it for such a good price but uh yeah you pay another ten dollars you know gee whiz you can uh, get um some much better beers folks um yeah if you just uh yeah, cough up another ten dollars. Um, there's some excellent beers, um, you know, available in Australia. You know, at uh, your big uh, liquor retailers like, um, you know, Dan Murphy's and First Choice. Um, you know, around the forty dollar mark. Yeah. All right. So um, yeah, I'd probably encourage you to yeah, spend that extra ten dollars, folks. Anyway, um, I'll have one last gulp of this and uh, give it a score out of ten. Hmm. All right. Well, uh, all in all, it's um, fairly decent, but at the same time, you know, it's pretty ordinary. So, um, yeah, being that it was my first beer of the day, I'm, I'm feeling a little generous. Uh, so I'd probably be inclined to give this um, domestically produced canned version of um, Hammer and Tongs a 5.5 out of 10. So uh, there you go, folks. 5.5 out of 10 for uh, Hammer and Tongs. So uh, thanks for joining me once again. Hopefully I'll be back soon with another review. So until next time, fare thee well, all.